holiday meal for those less fortunate in the valley. Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada is feeding more than 1,000 people today near Owens and Las Vegas Boulevard. That's where we find 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey with a live look as they prepare this huge feast. Good morning, Sean. Hey, good morning there, Alicia. I am joined by Executive Chef June with the Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada as they try to bust their tails cranking out about a thousand meals for a thousand people less fortunate here in the valley. Right now we've got some samples of what we got going on here. We've got the green bean casserole, the uh, pineapple honey glazed ham, the baked potato, the potatoes with some herb on there, and we've also got some uh, triple chocolate fudge cake for dessert. Now, Chef June, a lot goes into making this happen. A lot of love that you all are putting into it. Tell me a little bit about all the preparation that makes all of this possible. Oh yeah, the preparation uh, we started like a week before, and then this program we rely on volunteers, so they help us assemble the green beans casserole, slicing the ham and. Um, seasoning the, the potatoes. Yeah, and this is going to be a really nice meal. Uh, we've talked to some people before about this event that, that um, take advantage of all of this, and they say that it really helps them build a sense of community, be together during the holidays, and get a hot meal. How does it feel knowing that you're a part of that, that you get to help these people out on the holidays? Man, it feels amazing knowing that, uh, you know, us providing them this traditional Christmas meal, especially our clients, most of them, they got nowhere to go for this holidays. Absolutely. Chef June, thank you so much. I'll let you get back to it. A lot of work still to be done because the meal does kick off at 10 o'clock this morning here at the St. Vincent Lyde Dining Facility at the Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada. Again, kicks off at 10 o'clock. If you know anybody that could take advantage of this, send them on down. Lots of volunteers that would love to give them a nice meal for the holidays. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.